Okay, finally, you have a concrete proof that there's something wrong with Amazon PPC and uh, things are not working. For example, this client has 76% uh, echoes. She wants around 40% uh, echoes. Um, so what we need to do is we need to troubleshoot. And the first thing we can see is um, the click-through ratio is um, it's kind of okay, 0 0.38, but the conversion ratio 3.93 is really bad. And uh, here in this video, we're going to quickly dig into why the conversion ratio is bad. We're going to do some uh, analysis and we're going to find out uh, what uh, to do about it. So the first thing we have to do is we go into this um, campaigns tab. We find the campaign with the biggest spend and um, that's this campaign and the conversion ratio is 3.26. So it's a PC68 manual. So let's go to campaign audit. Uh, we select the profile and uh, we select the PC08 manual and we analyze it. Uh, so this auto campaign audit uh, will go through all the campaign. We'll find out, you know, uh, what is the standard benchmark and how much does it differ uh, for your for your category, for your, you know, your competition. And right away, we can see the cost is really bad, minus 100. It can't get any worse than that. Uh, the product quantity, you have 21 products. That's really, really bad. The conversion ratio is also um, kind of 0 0.149, which is uh, exceptionally bad. Uh, yeah, it's minus 98. So you know the product quantity is bad. The conversion ratio is bad uh, because it is um, 0.149. This is uh, the lowest conversion ratio you can get. And uh, let's go in and find out why uh, we have this low conversion ratio. Uh, go into this campaign profile and uh, we select into this campaign. You can see right away that there are four ad groups. We, we usually recommend only one ad group. Uh, there are two active, but even two is too many. Uh, what we want is we just want one of it active. And we choose the one with the highest spend. And here you can see the 520 keywords. Uh, the recommended is 20. So um, this is this is the first thing that you have to do. So even if you remove the paused keyword, there's, um, there's a lot of keywords. There's lots of keywords. And if we choose the products, uh, we already know that this has 21 product. Um, this is too many products. Four products is also way too many. Um, and if you go to this um, keyword, uh, what we have to do is we see that there is too many keywords um, that are cannibalizing the budget. Uh, for this budget of uh, $50, they're all being eaten by uh, this 500 keywords. So each keyword has around 10 cents to play with, uh, which is really, really bad. Uh, so the first thing that you could do is um, you could um, you could remove the keyword, you could negate some of the worst performing keyword, you could do some manual work. Uh, but in the next video, I'll go through what exactly you can do when you have too many keywords and when you have too many products.